Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between World Sitar and Caprion. World Sitar with Norse, Caprion with Vampires. In the booth with me is Skuro Mezzo and Purple Chest. Hello. Hello everyone, this is a matchup plucked right out of the Bible. It's the Norse taking on the Vampires. And Caprion, the vampire specialist of the CCL, going up against World Sitar, the always feisty Russian with his Norse. Should be a wild one. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, PC. Hello, Skiro. Thank you for that introduction. Uh, I went to Bible class. I don't remember many Norse or vampire stories. Uh, you went to a terrible Bible class. Might have, might have stayed longer. Um, but certainly I am getting a religious feeling looking at the delights of this game in front of us. Let's see what I did there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's Glorious. possible I napped through no, most of my Bible, uh, my Bible studies. <laughs> now, the, the Yeti that we didn't love and in the matchup before defend. has uh, retained I his place defend. on this Norse roster. He's Norse. Very lean, very dangerous, very effective. And the Yeti there doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thank you, you very love much. listening to PC bag on Yetis. <laughs> Thank you very much, Villa Hobby, for staying fantastic for 21 glorious months. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I think the vampires are going to be quite happy here uh, being put on defense. It's uh, when they've got the numbers, they're oh. very good at taking the ball away. Yeah, he, he won the toss and chose defense. Uh, right. Which does make sense, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Uh, Vampire's not particularly good at an offense. But yeah, using the strength four here, even knocking over Ulf's casually, though. Yet he is, of course, terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> just, just, because, just terrible. Of course, it's bound to have a fabulous game because that's life. But it's still terrible. He's banged out a thrall so far. He's, he's going to have a jump up banging here, isn't he? I'm sure he'll be very happy about that. Yeah, I mean, superficially that was a great turn for the vampires, but actually no damage done. There's some instability up there, a lot of stunned pieces. Um, you wouldn't necessarily want to bring the ball forward with that many hypno cheats possible and that many pieces stunned on the ground. So the, the Norse do want to stabilise from here. Yeah. But yeah, there's no threat on the ball, there is there, so they're quite happy no. to keep it back for now. Yeah, so the sort of turn that they really wouldn't have minded here is the pylon turns that stunned into a KO. So now they're getting on top of the numbers. They just need to get those Norse back on their feet, back relevant, and then they may feel they can bring the ball forward. Vampires, it's not a huge worry yet. There's still plenty of vampires and thralls enough to do some business. <laughs> He's powered the blodger. Is he going to pile on? He is! Of course he is. Oh, baby. He Here we pile go. On Yeti and not pile on. Gets the big KO. There you are. Apple. That's why he's on this team. Oh, huge power apo there. Now, surely we're seeing this Yeti filed back. That has to be what that plan yeah. was all about. Yeah. That's the Ulf taken off. Yeah, an agreed reroll. He really wants this Yeti. It's agreed. It's only one assist, isn't it? On the, on the foul. That's, that was a weird... Weird to reroll, that, if, you ask, if you ask me. Yeah. There's no DP for the L Luckily, only a stun on the uh, on the thrall. So is this guy DP? Yes, he could have just got an extra assist in. Oh, well, there you Didn't go. Didn't need it yeah. as Removes the Yeti. Ivar the Cold is off the pitch. No, he's power up no, on he's that not. as well. No, he's not. Wow. <laughs> well, it is a day for the early KO apothecaries. Holy Let's no. hope it does them a power of good. Oh, this is getting very short of numbers now for the vampires. Yep. Sure is. The vamps are hemorrhaging numbers. See what I did? Vamps a team you really... Uh, yeah, that's good. The vamps a team you really want, uh, you know, 
players on as opposed to other teams that you don't. Yeah. I mean, there are those races where you don't really care if you're down in numbers. Yeah. You know, yeah, as long like as high elves. three or four of them, you're fine. Yeah, you got as long as you got like four high elves on the pitch, you can't lose. I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking lives. <laughs> Is he going to foul the uh, Yeti again? No, oh, he's finally yeah. put a threat on the ball. The problem with the uh, everyone that uses an early Apo for a KO lost, Dimmy, is they both did here. So how's, <laughs> how's, how's, how's that going to work out? I know, this is really throwing me off after watching a live game. <laughs> I can't keep up with it. Yeah, it's really the, the, me the speed is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, just a stun this time, but he is relentless in his pursuit of this irrelevant yeti. Yeah, he doesn't have a bribe <laughs> either. There's no bribe on either side. Caprian's got a bribe. Caprian has split the Norse, folks. He has split the ball <laughs> off from the Norse. Yeah. Be warned. Oh, wait Life. a minute. Wait, he just ran past them, though. Shades oh, no. G5. <laughs> Splitting a team with one player. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, slightly... Uh, I guess uh, the coach he's doing it to a little bit more uh, savvy, if you will. It <laughs> <laughs> seems seems to have protected the ball effectively. <laughs> seems to have done, yeah. But well, against vampires, you can never be sure yeah. unless you kill. You can kind of be sure when there's only one vampire on that side of the pitch, though. <laughs> yeah, and there's another throw that gone. Helps. That helps a lot. That banging out. I mean, this is a relatively easy, you know, yeah. gears than, than Blitz, right? Yeah, it still is. Does he even need the gaze? Can't that vampire just go around the back? Oh, this one, yeah. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he didn't really defend it at all, yeah. <laughs> yeah, can't just do that. Just runs around the back. That's, that's probably couple, all right. A couple of Good dice spot, Yeah, I, I find Then as long as you knock it over, there's another vamp that can come after it. But. Yeah. Yep. Instead, just fail something oh, well, just, just massively fail irrelevant advice. somewhere else in the field. <laughs> and lose your <laughs> And then the vampire has to run off the field because, yeah. <laughs> wow. This, again, again, we should point out Caprion, no. an excellent vampire coach. Uh, but right now, really this, learning why vampires are not considered a very good team. <laughs> very much the peak of vampire coaching, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as we saw with Ducky's Vampire Run, when it all works, they can be glorious, they can go very far, they can take on any team. But when it doesn't, it's like this. Yeah. I think I actually predicted the vampires had a reasonable shot here, largely based on the yet. <laughs> Dimmy! Yeah, <me laughs> that too. was the best! Oh, Jim, you missed that. Elp, you were like, basically lost off the pitch, and Elp's just like... Jimmy, in all seriousness, he's just like, Orcs are in a bit of trouble right now. <laughs> 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 oh, man. They, were, they were in trouble for a turn. Yeah, but that wasn't the turn Elf said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were in trouble for a turn, though. Um, yeah. That's all I, that's all I did. <laughs> Got them in trouble well. for a turn. I think that's more than I managed, Jimmy, so celebrate that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Another vamp out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. No regen. No regen. You know how we said this one was going to be quick? I have a feeling it's pretty much done. Even mm. in speed mode, I don't think we need to watch the rest of this game. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, just omni-fail, isn't it? Does this... Is this... A, if Sitar wins, that's th three wash and wins today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Russian so dominance. we should start the talk of the Russian invasion. <laughs> I don't think either Jim nor I should be doing. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we should stay well clear of that. <laughs> oh, it is only natural that the Mother Russia dominates the blood ball. <laughs> I'll just I'll, I'll just call them vampires. Is that okay? Can I call them vampires? <laughs> you can certainly call them vampires. <laughs> All right. Now this is a blood step vampire, so he does actually need this to work. It's pronounced vampire piece. He has to do the GFIs. <laughs> no, it does not. You see, he rose, and he's not good. <laughs> That's yeah, Madania. The vampires are winning. <laughs> Wait, no. What's the opposite of winning? Losing. <laughs> now he must blitz. <laughs> He gets the power, look at Doug! But without the tackle, yet he gets the power. 
Look at dog. The Yeti, it does nothing. This is not a surprise. Hot DP action. Yeah, this this vampire is getting kicked in the face. Just the three assists. Yep, he's a, he's a gunner. He's dealt with, and the ref couldn't care less. <laughs> Four players in the pitch and the ball pissed. Oh yeah, yeah. I pissed. Now, I'm not. I'm not saying that the ref has been strongly on the Russian team's favour on all three games today. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if there was an invest international investigation, I, I wouldn't be shocked. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, this is yeah. Well, I mean, the second half, you know, the vampires, both of them, might be able to do something. Yeah. But so far, yeah, today, these Norse have been, been amazing. There's been so much Russian success this Sunday that it looks like an American election. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Yeti or not. God, that looks pretty good, Dimmy. Who knew Dimmy's like a professional fucking photographer? Oh, get the fuck out of here with that weak ass shit. So good. He's genuinely really good though, isn't he? Let, let me go look at it before... Okay. What are we talking What are we even... What are we talking about here? Where is this thing? What are we talking about? <laughs> fucking Come on! Of the top of a barbecue. <laughs> Come on, I'm from Boston! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it, but it's funny. <laughs> Here we go, look at this! Oh, he hasn't got 2D in the ball. He has fucked himself. <laughs> that does look like some nice food, I'll give you that, Dimmy. Yeah. Once again, Dimmy, other than the first shot, which I think he accidentally composed dynamically, every single one of those, vertical orientation on a horizontally uh, situated item and cropping off the edges of it. Fucking garbage. Did you really need to frame this last picture here so these weeds sticking up behind your barbecue were uh, <laughs> right in the eye line there to draw draw the eye all away right, from all the All right, uh, if anyone needs charge. a wedding, I'll give you a call. <laughs> but until then, he's taken a picture of his barbecue, mate. Let it go. Yeah, well, well, but I'm not a wedding photographer. I'm a food photographer, PC. <laughs> <laughs> no bar mitzvahs, weddings... Divorce parties, you name it. Call Skuro, he'll <laughs> sort you right out. <laughs> oh, right, so here we are. There's um, there's plenty of vamps back, to be honest. Yeah. And there might be some more. Yeah, in the chat. Could get, could get up to four. Is this guy niggled? Well, they've, they've got nine, so if they get the, both KOs back, they'll be at 11 for the second half, which is pretty good. Yeah, and four vamps, that's the thing. In the moment, there are only two vamps, which is pretty ropey, isn't it? Yeah, but, they need the vamps back. Yeah, they're, they're both. They're good, like, it's bad that they're down to vamps, but the good thing is they could get two vamps to, to go up to 11, but it's going to be hard, isn't it? You think they certainly need one. And then, you know, the Norse do have AV7, theoretically. They could be, uh, you could remove some and get the numbers back into a decent place. Yeah. Score on your drive, things could look positive, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough, isn't it? That was a brutal first half. Mm -hmm. Full on lost. Pictures are in the Discord uh, coffee. I mean, if we're just saying things randomly, Dimmy, and agreeing to them just to make ourselves feel better, I mean, congratulations, I guess. But no, they're they're <laughs> mediocre pictures at best. <laughs> I think I think you're being very mean. I think I think they're great. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not being mean. I think I think they are great in the same way. I think like. You know, my eight-year-old niece can really draw a dog very, very well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And she do. <laughs> no. Also, yeah, I don't have an eight-year-old niece. I thought, <laughs> I thought that whole story smelled fishy to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me. I didn't buy this dog drawing niece for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but can your dogs draw nieces? <laughs> yeah, that'd be uh, talent, wouldn't it? <laughs> my dogs can do a lot of things that most humans can't. <laughs> Why, if you take a dog to the park, all sorts of people come up and are nice to you. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had a dog, so. More of a cat person, though. My partner's allergic to it. He <laughs> has a yeah. broken soul. It's fairly accurate. 
Yeah, but like, you know, considering, considering, Skuro, you're a professional photographer and this is a dude with a phone, I think, uh, yeah. I think they're really yeah. good. Yeah, I'm not saying, uh, hey, I'm not saying they're not, but I mean, if we're going to call, if we're going to call capturing an image on a fucking cell phone, uh, <laughs> oh, who knew that Demi was such a good photographer? Uh, right, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remind you. I'm gonna remind you of the difference in the same way that PC right. would call what we do on the JFW uh, professional acting. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. Would it would it be better if Jimmy hadn't hurt your feelings? So. <laughs> Damn straight. If, if I just said, I feel like said, I deserve. Give me, the, give me those are great about. pictures. But obviously, if I'm talking about pictures, my mind instantly goes to Skuramatsu <laughs> and his professional picture taking quality. That's, Th and sadly, no one, in the right no matter <laughs> how well they have ever done with their photos, can compare in my mind or my heart to the awesomeness that is Skuro's wedding photography, uh, food photography. This is uh, this is this is where we need to be. This is this is a positive uh, step in the right direction. Good job, PC. Now we need to. When we're starting to talk about blood bowl competitions, we need to refer to the fact that I beat the living shit. <laughs> <laughs> out of Calcium Cavs in the SFL Finals, and that I am the only two-time SFL champion. Calcium Cavs, the history. is that the same Calcium Cavs as the Calcium really Cavs from the BBSL? <laughs> I think I think it must be. Yeah. Weird, weird how they would pick that guy, you know, to uh, be in this, uh, you know, competition over over someone as credentialed as the two-time SFL winner. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure the commentary here tells you all, everything you need to know about this matchup in this game right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think the vamps have got a plan here. They just need to bang on some AV7, and if it works... Oh, it hasn't. It hasn't. They could get up on numbers and then do something. But they're not. <laughs> they're not. It's, that's that's not going to work, is it? That's not a thing. They could... <laughs> there is still enough strength for all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, maybe the. Uh, oh, no, another power there. And another removal. No, no, just a stun. There you are, that stun one will come back. There's something. <laughs> If only he'd had a, had a. If only this guy had been central and not back, then he could have served his vamp as well. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it just done it as well. Yeah, but if you if, why surf it when you can get SPP from casting things? Yeah. <laughs> Skuros falls are the Norse and Dimmies are the vamps. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> that mean you, you want to hate mine because of, of of how evil they are, but you know they're just doing better right now. <laughs> is, that, is that a try? <laughs> Skuro, I don't feel the need to point out to people when they go, look, that's acting. That it really isn't, because I'm secure and confident in myself. Perhaps you should. All right, well, that's good for you. That some of us maybe says, are insecure. Yeah, when someone says Dimmy's photos are good, you know, you're a professional photographer. You don't have to go, yeah, but not as good as mine. I'm a professional photographer. No, they probably aren't. Because you're a I professional think Jim photographer. Was, I think Jim was twisting the knife. I don't think you understand <laughs> how, much, uh, how much I have to. Uh, deal with in terms of personal attacks on my character when I'm on commentary. You know, I'm always always having to defend the fact that uh, I'm a pretty decent Blood Bowl coach, all things considered. 3-2-1 tries to insult me and call me a shitter in chat. And, uh, you know, I... No, no, come on, we were talking about how you're all right at, at photography. That's not a stretch thing, so. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Proving my point for me. <laughs> oh, he's passing in the stone presence. Not a problem. Yeah, I mean, he, he sort of had to, didn't he? He's put it into this cage. And it's, you know, in a nice sideline cage. If it was 12 spaces further forward, he'd be <laughs> in with a genuine chance of scoring here. <laughs> yep. But unfortunately, he's neglected <laughs> to, <laughs> to factor in the instant jump up. Oh, boy, boy Harry. <laughs> Hello, Ansi. <laughs> oh, he refailed. That was the blitz, was it? Was he going for the surf? Oh, no, he can just surf with a... With a no, he, 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 surely that was a move to come in and just put the... Yeah, this guy can surf, can't he? 
pretend in some way it was useful, whereas mm -hmm. actually he just does it with his good pieces. Yeah. yeah. No, it looks like it was the Blitz. Oh, they, they could it be was. assisting, they could be assisting. He could be blitzing with this guy. But no, maybe it was the Blitz, yeah, he's just gonna go for the serve. It was, no, the no, Yeti. No, 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 this is the Blitz. No, okay, this is the Blitz. Yeah. Extraordinary distance to come, but alright. Not sure I like that, because yeah, there's the danger of... Uh... Okay. Wow, this is exciting, isn't it? There could be a reverse field here. Yeah, there genuinely could be. Um, mm. If you stand up, everyone over on the, uh, the yeah, left as the we're gears. looking at it. And all you've got to do is get the ball over there. Yeah. And you've got another vampire that can do exactly that. Yeah. Okay, he's bringing him back in. Okay, that's fair, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little more defensive than I was thinking. Yeah. Just like in retrospect, I quite like Elp's idea about um, that I rejected of trying to both pick the ball up and throw it to the blitz and catch it on the three and scarf it. But it just took so many dives. That's why, that's why Frosty, so he can just go and pick up the ball. Yeah. Beautiful. A sort of screen. <laughs> yeah. You wait, the Yeti's gonna power that vamp now. Give a route through to win this game. Yeah, I mean, it probably will, right? It's got block. It's not, it's not yeah. unusual. No. Imagine if there was a Tom Jones Yeti, that'd be amazing. Doesn't still make it a decent Yeti. <laughs> oh no, he's just casually moving the other one out of the way. There you are. Route's there for the ball. No, Frosty, no, that that is the good thing about uh, Wild Animal, is that Wild Animals keep their tackle zones. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, it's it's the thing they do have going for them over, uh, over Bonehead and, and these shit the things. Why some people think the yeah. Wild Animal isn't that bad. Tough, no, Thomas. I'm here, Femi. Not so tough. No, he's going to go in with just a... Oh, no, it's an Ulf, isn't it? So <laughs> It's one in nine again. <laughs> one no, in nine, nine more times again. he's hit with a blockless game. But straight into a power afterwards. Mm. That's not likely even on four dice, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think this is... I mean, it's obviously really desperate. But did it have to be that desperate? Oh, no, okay, he's gone the other way. I still... Yeah, so he was going for the blitz to, to scatter it and he double one. Yep. I thought I thought it was dodging in there the way that it looked. Which I thought was fucking weird. No, it was the scatter and then the other one was gonna pick up, wasn't it? Yeah. The plus move. Yeah, it's just it just didn't look like he was going on there. I, I don't know why I thought that. It's it's not the most one sided game ever. I disagree, Dimmy. I think I think PC's game against Thomas T was <laughs> was pretty one sided. Um I think the game against Singolo was too. Um, I think this is, yeah, this has been pretty brutal. But the the Vamps have actually quietly had the odd shot here and there. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy versus Sage was the most one-sided match. Also, my game against Velo Hop here in the cup, uh, <laughs> not not the one that I lost with uh, Chaffs, but but the one that I the one that I had I had Chaos and he had Orcs, and it was so stupid. But I think for the viewing public, all three games today have not been. Um, not been exactly thrill a minute, have they? They've all it's seen been quite, fucking shit. Quite decided quite early. Yeah. Uh, and three Russians go. Well, I'm presuming this ends up a win, but three Russians go storming through. Yeah. The season of the Great Bear. Yeah. Although here's a vamp doing a vamp thing. Maybe this is what Nostradamus meant all those years ago. <laughs> That'd be pretty fucking sad. <laughs> It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> In the game of Blood Bowl, there will be a computer game. I don't know 
why I'm suddenly doing a Russian accent for Nostradamus, who was, of course, French. <laughs> but, you know, like, it, but if, when you think about it, if you're predicting the future and there's going to be, like, thousands and thousands of years ahead of you, then uh, it could be something as irrelevant as a, as a dead computer game's <laughs> tournament round of 16, couldn't it? Why does it have to be, like, a monumental, <laughs> you know, thing? It's the, the same principle that everyone that's had a past life it turns out to have been Marie Antoinette. Yes. <laughs> Why weren't you just like a peasant in a village who had a shit life and died of syphilis at 14? <laughs> Why does no one ever remember that? Yeah. No. Oh, you were George Washington, were you, in a prior life? Right. Yeah. Okay. Or if they were a serf, it was like they were George Washington's uh, butler or something, weren't they? They were, yeah. you know, it was... Never My name was Frank. I shoveled shit for forty years, and then I died. And no one, no one missed me. <laughs> no, no one has that story from all the times they've lived before, do they? There's the Yeti being wonderful and removing itself from the pitch. <laughs> Fantastic. Boy, howdy! It's been a real star of this game, and just... features very strongly in how the Norse got this done. In fairness, chance, that's though. just. In fairness, that's just the Norse trying to show up the vamps one more time that they can remove that yeti when the when, when, yeah, when the vamps failed to do it all well, first half. They've got a chance. Look, they have. Oh, look, here's, there's a vampire. That's a three plus to pick it up. Oh, I don't like the blitz. I think yeah, just pick it up and give it to him and fuck off. Yeah, I'd have exactly. Now, how do you fuck off? Where is, is the him? off? Oh, the fucking off here. <laughs> Maybe you uh, maybe you punch the maybe you punch his punch his blitzer right and then don't you I'll... three plus two plus that to the other vampire and yes get off yeah yeah see his plan was to do okay so you can just get it to this guy now okay all right yeah no that's a two, that's a handoff a two plus handoff that's fine that's a good plan like this Would've plan been pretty funny if he ended up having to bite him yeah Hooray! Right. here we go. The double G fight. Oh, he hasn't done any rules. Double G fight anyway. You got a double G fight. He's not in range, are you? No. to make one G fight. He's not in range. He he just had to G fight there, didn't he? Has he stopped short? Yeah. Yeah. He can't score next time. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's a problem. You can also get hit this turn, can't he? Yeah, yeah he I hasn't got so. two turns. That's the, that, the the thing is, though, Skrull, he doesn't have two turns, does he? Okay, he can get hit this turn anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, he should have been on the sideline. Should have been on the sideline and one space further. Yeah, yeah, he at least one GFI this turn. He at least had a chance at scoring, because... Although, if this fails, he should still get... It's not going to... It's only two plus two plus, but if it fails... Yeah, it doesn't matter what turn it is. He, he's not going to get another chance. That was the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Leaving him in in easy ball blitz mode there. Uh, he's never going to get away. Plus one one and giving the Norse you know, two turns is fine. Absolutely fine. In fact, it would only be one turn. Wouldn't it? No, it would be two. Oh, yeah, it would have been two, but... It would have been two, but it's fine. They're, they're not that quick. Yeah, it's a little... Certainly better, than, been... certainly better than losing, which is yeah. what's going to happen now. Yeah, this strength four guy would have come back six. And then he would have just run another six. <laughs> and then this guy would have hit him for sure, you know? like yeah. <laughs> There was no need to make the GFIs to hit him. It didn't even matter. He could have just literally run back. And then hit him next turn, guaranteed. Bosh. And that's going to be that. Yep. Done. GB or... Well, the East rises. And with Crucifer also possibly to go through, we could see a full half of the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. And quarterfinal lists as Russian. Yeah. Unbelievable. Scooby-Doo. Oh, he's dead. I mean, yeah. the whole team's dead, so... <laughs> it's just saving him some time, I guess. Yeah. Well, this Norse team have never looked like much, but they are continuing to Norse their way through, aren't they? Yeah. 
Yeah, they look shite. If you ask me. <laughs> oh, styled on. Styled on by the Ulf. <laughs> Almost. There you go. Absolutely wrecked him. And I did, I did fancy the, the, the Vamps to win this. Yes, Op Cubby, we are exactly saying that. That this is the mere start of the Russian domination of the known world. They've decided to target us and the West and our freedom through our blood bomb. Okay, I predicted Will Sitar though, as did literally. Yeah, I thought I, I thought Caprian had a shot here, but I was completely wrong. Mm. I just look at this Norse team and think, but it's Norse and it's not very good Norse. Someone will beat it, but so far no one has. Mm. Can you imagine this up against like any of the Orc teams we've seen today? Oh God, it'd be a mess. Apart from his, apart from his Yeti that could win the game by claw bombing. Yes, it can. So that it's it's due to do that. I hate it so much that it's due to do that. So there we are, one nil to uh, to World Sitar. Yeah. His Norse is amassing indeed. Yeah, very very uh, very good. That his his Norse is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, congratulations, Wells of Dark. Commiserations, Caprion. Thank you very much, uh, Purple Chest and Skura gotcha. Metal. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.